Okay, now these are a few of my most favorite different types of art supplies that I use a lot. I use these, I've used actually all my life for drawing and for ink drawing also. So we've got first of all the Stetler Mars plastic erasers. These are a nice white rubber eraser. They're quality, they're good. I've been using them and my father who's an architect had used them before me and he always swore by them so that's how I got hooked on these. They're fabulous. You have to be careful not to damage your paper because they can take off too much if you press too hard. So do a light touch and just keep working in an area to lighten the shade with them and they're fabulous. This is the same thing as this. There's a white rubber. It's just a generic one. They're perfectly fine. Very good. Also, this is a Tombow, to a Tombow Mono and it's really excellent. Comes in a stick form. Same thing. White eraser white rubber and they're great. Same with this Pentel Click. Also very good. Refillable. Here's the refills. Just a very simple little thing. Just take them out, stick them in the top, and click them down. That's the way they both work. Also, this is a great little tool. This is a Derwent power eraser. It's an electric eraser. It's got basically a very powerful little uh, speed so you've got to do it very gently you can get in there and be very precise but it, it's very powerful so you have to be careful not to take off too much it's also good for drawing you can use it and draw but you know it's one of those things where you use it sparingly until you get used to it so that way you understand that it you know you're not going to take out too much of your drawing also we've got here the ebony design pencil this is a nice rich dark pencil good for putting in the darks, darkest darks on your drawings. I love them. I've been using them all my life and it's fabulous. They're just really good pencils for the darkest darks, darks. Also, these are just mechanical pencils. You can fill them up. This, these are three different ones here. Actually four. This is the one I've had forever. This one's a Pentel Sharplet. Also the Alvin Iceberry. These are Alvin Iceberries here. And this one here, I'm not sure what this is, but it's, oh, it's a grip. I don't know the brand of that one. But they're really good. They're very good, and you can load them with different level of inks. I use HB, I use H, 2H, and 2B. Those are the hard and the soft. And this is what the little cartridges that you put the, that this, the leads come in. You just take some out, and you put them in the little chamber. For each one and you, they're good to go. Also these are tortillons. These are little smudgers. You can use these for smudging. Uh, so, a lot of times soft pencil is best. But you can make a nicer texture. You can add some depth or you can um, change with effects. They come in different sizes. They're easily and readily available. I like them but I, I generally use my finger. The thing is when you use these they will help you not transfer the oil from your fingers into your pencil charcoal drawings. So that they're good for keeping the oil of your fingers out of your drawing. Now these are rapidograph pens that are disposable. These ones are by Prismacolor. They're really good. They're excellent. Also Micron pens are very good. I like them. I, I use them and swear by them. Before I used to use the Koinor rapidograph pens or Rotrings also and these are really good. You fill them up with ink and they are just a very nice rich line, a very clean line which is good when you're doing technical work. My dad used to use them as an architect back in the days before computers and I inherited those when I was young and I bought them since because I love them. I still like them. They have a great pen. Even, even still I think these have the best line out of all of the ones, even these. So, but these are some of the main things that I use. Also, these are really good. This is probably the best for me. I like these go-to little metal two-hole uh, sharpeners. They're just simple and they're strong. And you make sure it keeps a nice straight, uh, sharp point. Otherwise, throw it out and get another one or change. You can actually change the leads, but it's up to you whether you want to fuss with that. This is one that's a, a more expensive brand. 
I don't personally like it that much, but it was expensive and I keep it. But it doesn't want to stay on the table, so I use it just like this. And the, the back falls out. You can put your pencil in here, you clamp it, and it just goes like that. And it gives you a nice, nice tip, but it's just a bit of a hassle because this thing falls off all the time. So, anyways, these are some of the things that I use, and I will explain them in future videos how I use them.